And uh, we just want to wish you well as well to everyone in Brizzy this morning. Well, Andre Rieu has re-energised the public's love affair with the great composers, but does music have other benefits? And can the power of a melody also have the power to heal? Today's Georgie Quill has the answer. The members of this orchestra are well used to feeling the pressure leading up to a big performance. As part of the internationally acclaimed Sydney Symphony, they play more than 180 concerts a year with some of the world's most illustrious musicians. But today, they're tuning up for a very different audience. We will be doing for you a little piece called the Toy Symphony. Their auditorium is the Children's Hospital at Westmead, where sick children and their parents are recognising the therapeutic power of music. It is uh, heartbreaking sometimes when you see these children, but we always have that hope in our hearts that you know they, they will get better. I loved it. I loved the music. It was great. It was really, really good. The Music for Health program has now been running for five years and in that time Sydney Symphony musicians have made over 25 visits to hospitals across New South Wales. It was really fun and a bit of a change other than sitting in bed all day. And it seems the kids aren't the only ones who benefit. It brings the spirit out and, and the fun in the kids and, and breaks the monotony for the day. All music is just so good for them. Research in Australia, the UK and the US has found patients listening to music have alleviated symptoms of depression, reduced pain and boost to their immune systems. Music appeals to the whole person, yeah, and to those aspects in us which are sick, but also to those aspects in us which are capable of change and growth. And the power of music is going well beyond the walls of the hospital wards. The McKillops are one of a growing number of families using an Australian developed program called Simply Music, which is proving hugely successful for children suffering from behavioural and physical challenges. Our daughter Nicole is um, 12 years old and she has Joubert syndrome, um, as does our son Alexander who's six. Joubert syndrome is a genetic condition that affects the part of the brain called the cerebellum. It's helped her develop her listening skills, her concentration skills, her math skills. But it's the confidence and self-esteem and I can do something and give other people enjoyment. Teacher Helen Hull says the positive results are due to the non-traditional philosophy behind the teaching system. We just break the music down into simple patterns and shapes and we just translate into their fingers and they can just unfold that straight onto the piano. We watch Alexander starting now and he can, he's really only got control over his thumb and his first finger and he can't isolate the other fingers for playing and we forgot that that's what it was like for Nicole. Sometimes when I'm teaching her, she'll achieve something just so extraordinary, so quickly. Her mum and I, we just look at each other across the top of the head and we've both got tears in our eyes and it's, it's just beautiful. For all of these children, music to their young ears has changed their lives. And surely you can't get a better medicine than that. Bravo! Bravo indeed. Great story, Georgie Cool. Yeah, what a beautiful little yarn. Well, the Kmart Wishing Tree is Australia's 